Bama won the toss and deferred the option to the second half. Auburn will receive. Roderick Hood, number 36. Ben Obamanu, number two, are the two deep men for the Tigers of Auburn. Hood had some really nice returns in the game last week against Georgia. Brian Bostic with the kick. And Roderick Hood from the three-yard line bobbles it. And is cut down as he gets across the 15-yard line. True freshman. Hand off Smith. Big opening right side. Cuts it back and moves all the way across the 25 to the 26-yard line. Third down and one. Play fake. Great fake. And he's got his tight end open. What a great fake by Jason Campbell. Ball complete. Inside the 30-yard line to Anthony Mix, number 89. Third and nine. Let's look by Alabama. And they are blitzing. Here's Campbell pressured. Kendall Moorhead has it. Flag is down. Here's the fifth-year senior, Tyler Watts. And he'll hand it off to Santonio Beard on first down. And Santonio Beard bangs his way out to the 26-yard line. Uh, motion and Tyler Watts. Quarterback keeper around the right side out to the 31-yard line. That'll be a first down. Carlos Dansby, number 11, makes the tackle. Let's check this Crimson Tide offense. Triandos Luke starts in motion. The option pitch back to Sean Williams, number 21. And he scoots around the right side. Is filled near the 40-yard line. Two first down plays for Alabama. Seven yards on both first down plays. Play fake. Watts goes left as it completes at the 47-yard line. Third and eight. Ephraim to Watts, couple of five-year seniors. And here's Triandos Luke, the Dre Fulgham it is. Number three with the catch and the first down. After that, struggle inside the 35 to the 17-yard line. Dre Fulgham, you can see a very physical receiver. Personal foul by the offense, 15-yard penalty. It'll be a first down. First down and 10. Santonio Beard in the backfield. Here's the catch by the tight end as he moves laterally along the 45-yard line, and Clint Johnston makes the grab. Blitz. Comes from the corner, Dontarius Thomas reaches out, puts a hand on the jersey of Tyler Watts and pulls him down. Nice strategy by Auburn. So on fourth and ten, interesting decision here by Dennis Franchoni. Well, when you have the number one ranked defense in the country, you're a little more inclined to make decisions like this as well. Here comes the blitz again. And Watts is hit as he lets it go. Sean Williams is out of bounds way short of the first down. So the Tigers will take over. First down, 10. Jason Campbell hit Anthony Mix for a 46-yard gain on the first possession of the game. But Auburn unable to get points. Here's Trey Smith. Dances right. Slips a tackle. He's got room. He's got speed, too. He's being chased and caught from behind, but not until he gets to the 16-yard line. Florida State and Nebraska. Here's Campbell. Comes left, finds his tight end. And Robert Johnson is in for the touchdown. The tricky defense fooled Auburn. Look at the edge Alabama has had in the first quarter of games. Here's Watts going left. Catch is made by Zach Fletcher, number 80. And the loss to Georgia was here 27-25. This one goes against Auburn. They lost at home last year 31-7, having come off a Georgia victory in Athens. This year they lost at home to Georgia and then have rebounded big. Here's Sean Williams to the 33. Greg McClain is the fullback. The give is to Sean Williams. Nice little move at the line. This one will come back. I bet you we have holding. Yeah. Whenever they throw that hanky down into the middle of a pile, 
right around the center. It's usually holding. Thurman Ward, who gets in for probably three or four plays a year, and always <laughs> seems to make an appearance in a game that we televise, number one. Maybe that's why Auburn knew it was coming. <laughs> Here's Watts, what a fine defensive play as Reggie Torborn, number 82, strings it out. But don't let Auburn get a big play with a block kick. Here's the punt, and Bearden, nice and high, Hood with the catch at the 14, and room to return it. And Bearden makes the tackle. Oh, my goodness. goodness. Wow. They've got a second down inside the 45 of Alabama. Trey Smith gets loose again, darts to the right, and he picks up the first down at the 34. Well, let's talk a little bit about this Alabama defense. This is the first game that Alabama has played with missing a starter on defense. That's part of why they've been so successful. They've kept everybody healthy today, the first time missing a starter. Second down and seven. Campbell steps up, gets it to Obamanu. He heads left, and he's got a first down inside the 15-yard line. Second down and eight. Blitz coming. Campbell goes wide open. Oh, my goodness, Robert Johnson. Second touchdown grab of the day. Former offensive coordinator of Auburn, Noel Mazzoni, now an assistant coach at Oregon State. Here is Santonio Beard on first down out across the 25. Beard is the only setback. Option play, Watts keeps it, cuts. And that's good for a first down as Tyler Watts gets out near the 38-yard line. I think they need to cut into this two-touchdown deficit. And they try the draw play, the delay give to Santonio Beard, and it gets nothing. Somewhere in this huge throng is David Langner. He is now a car salesman in, of all places, Tuscaloosa. <laughs> wonder how business is. I can't imagine. Left side, Campbell has had the hot hand, and it continues to the 35 as he finds Marcel Willis. Second down and six. Campbell out of the backfield. Aroma should do. And he's got yardage to the 46-yard line. Double tight end set now on first down and 10. Campbell gets a snap from Ben Nallen across the middle again, this time the tight end, Robert Johnson. And he manages to get to the 45-yard line. He's now hit seven in a row. Here's the handoff, Trey Smith. And the Tigers get to the 43-yard line. Three to the left side, two to the right. Stunts by Alabama. Kendall Moorhead, Campbell, elusive. Puts it down, he'll run it. Heads left and is stopped finally at the 25. Auburn has dominated thus far. Here comes the blitz. Campbell reads it, goes to Johnson, who made a cut to his left at the 11-yard line. Here's Damon Duvall. He has not had a good year, has missed six of his last eight. This from 40 to add to the lead. And that one is perfect. He nailed that one. Santonio San Beard up the middle. Big gain all the way out to the 30-yard line. That should be enough to, he just crossed the 30. It should be a first down. Because uh, ever since I was a kid, this is the game my dream of playing there. So, but uh, everything happened for a reason. Hopefully I get to play next year. All right, thanks a lot, Cornell. Thank you, Jill. Here's the pass overthrown to Sam Collins as Tyler Watts is off the mark, and again, Alabama is going to give it up. The last time, Alabama did a better job of covering him. The first time, he squirted out of there for a nice return. There's the snap, and Bearden sends it away. Hood moves up, grabs it at the 33-yard line. Out of one tackle, out of another, and counter punches to the 50-yard line. Here comes the pressure from the outside. Got him. Fumble. A flag is thrown. Yeah, they did not get the intentional grounding call. I was so surprised to see the ball come out. I thought it was a fumble. His knee was down at second and 17. Draw play, Trey Smith. My goodness, he's finding 
openings for his runs. Five fourteen to go. Three man rush. Campbell across the middle. Caught. Unbelievable. And it looks like it might be enough for the first down as Marcel Willis makes the grab. Blitz. Campbell. Got him. Derek Pope, middle linebacker. And Sean Williams is perched at the 10 yard line. This one to the right. Williams grabs it at the 18. Out to the 27 yard line. Hands it off to Sean Williams. And Williams bolts into the secondary. Big first down play. That was the draw that got Alabama going last week. Doyle comes left. Sean Williams out of the backfield. Nice Skips move. down the sidelines. Yes, it was. <laughs> nice move on a corner. Third down and ten. Here's Doyle. Going deep for Fulgham, it's tipped and incomplete. Roderick Hood batted this one away. 45 seconds to go. Play clock at one. Here's Coyle back. Nobody open. Whips it. Man is open, but he's short of the first down. Our group will travel over to Athens for Georgia Tech at Georgia. 28 seconds to go. Well, 20 years ago in Birmingham, a freshman named Bo Jackson starred in this game. Later went on to win the Heisman Trophy. He delivered the locker room speech prior to this game. Obviously, he said the right thing. Remember, he said, hit them first. Auburn hit first in the first 30 minutes. No question about it. Watts with a play fake and the roll to the left pulls out. There's Sam Collins. His first catch of the game, and he is jolted by Traveris Robinson. Alonzo Ephraim, another of the seniors, snaps it back. Stunts by the Auburn Tigers out of the backfield. And it is incomplete. Triandos Luke again having problems hanging on. Bearden is on the punt for the fourth time. Auburn showed an overload to the right side of their defense that time. A little adjustment by Alabama. Hood moves up. Catch is made. Flag is thrown. Two flags are down. You know, they're going to call a halo violation on Alabama. Interference violation of the two-yard halo around the receiver by the kicking team. Ten-yard penalty. First down. Second down and 11. Campbell play fake, and it's a good one. Buys some time, but good coverage. Now he lobs it across the middle. Tip, intercepted. Picked off by Wayne Bacon on the deflection. The first turnover of the ball game, and the grab is made by another of the 22 seniors. First down at the 46-yard line. Watts with the option, pulls back, looks for Collins. There's Collins wide open. And Collins is dragged down at the 28 by Traveris Robinson, but a wonderfully designed and executed play. Play fake. Watts will run. Gets a block from McLean of sorts. And then guess who's there again? Traveris Robinson accompanied by a hanky. Option. Pitch. John Williams got the first, got more. First and goal, Alabama at the seven-yard line. Nice call that time by Dennis Franchoni. Same set. Fulgham again in motion, left side. Here's the toss. McLean with the block. Beard, touchdown. And a 107-year drought comes to an end. Alabama has finally scored against Auburn in Tuscaloosa. Campbell with the play change. Trey Smith goes right, flag down. He's got an opening and drags a tackler out to the 40. This one's fairly large, third uh -huh. and 10. Jason Campbell needs to be smart with the football here. He threw one pick. Be smart with the ball here. Stunts, Campbell, right side, man open, got him. 
and here goes Auburn. Marcel Willis, a monstrous play for the Auburn Tigers. Since the LSU loss, when they gave up huge numbers, 238 per game, and they came into this game as a number one defense in NCAA football. Third down. Campbell tipped Bacon incomplete fourth down and as we mentioned about 40 yards earlier in this game that was his longest of the year this from 47 yards out he just missed from 52 weeks ago Duvall hooks left goes left he hit it hard enough though he really nailed that first down and 10 Alabama. Here's Watts. Play fake. Left side. Man open. Big play. Out to the 48 yard line. Triandos Luke, number 84. Alabama, two of eight on the game on third down, but one of two here in the second half. Watts rolls right. Dontarius Thomas is blocked out of the play, and Watts overthrows Collins, who was open. On fourth down, that's Collins in motion. Out of the backfield, Sean Williams one-on-one -on -one in space. And Williams is knocked out of bounds, short of the first down, by Horace Willis. Third and six. A lot of time for Campbell. Good downfield coverage. They got him from behind. Not in McKay Lozier. That was a coverage sack. Yep. Good coverage downfield. Alabama has played well down the stretch thus far this year. Here's Tyler Watts with a play fake. Pulls up. Pressure from Mark Brown. And Watts is going to be sacked. Brett Edens gets the sack. Number 94. Watts left side. Man open. Triando Sloop. One on one with Carlos Rogers. Third down and two. Watts drills it behind Dre Fulgham, incomplete. Dansby was out in coverage. A bad throw by Tyler Watts. Three seconds short of 12 minutes remaining in this ball game, a 10-point difference, and fourth down and two. They will go for it, apparently. Yeah, they may just try to draw them off sides, but this is the number one offense in the SEC and the second rushing offense. I think they're going to go ahead and run a play here. Sam Collins in motion. Here's the option. Watts, good job defensively. And, oh, that's going to be close. I think he may have gotten it. I think his forward progress got him the first down. Now, he got knocked back pretty severely. All right, thank you, Tim. Third and 11 here with 10.31 to go. And Coyle remains at quarterback. Here comes the blitz. My goodness. Unimpeded. And Fulgham goes for it. A wrestling match on the near side. And it was Traveris Robinson who cut through. Three down for Alabama. And they will bring just three. Here's Campbell on the quarterback run, the draw. Pretty good play. Yes, indeed. The first. defense, 50 oh, yard oh, penalty from the end of the run. First down. His experience in that big game last year in a loss, or last week, I think has paid huge dividends in seven days. Comes the blitz. Kendall Moore ahead, and Campbell escapes it. Comes right. He does not get the first down, but Kendall Moorhead tackled air. Alabama needs two scores. They need a touchdown and a field goal. Here's Croyle on third. Bumble. Auburn may have it. Nope. Croyle got it back. Fourth and seven, Alabama. Here comes the blitz. Croyle off his back foot. Caught Collins. Not a speedster, but he's got the first down plus at the 36-yard line. It's Fulgham. As the chains are reset, here's Coyle. Trouble. Nailed. Mark Brown, number 52. One of the 22 seniors, Tyler Watts, watches as Brody Coyle takes the snap. Here comes the pressure again for Collins. Deep left, tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Carlos Rogers. Third and four. Trey Smith, it'll be fourth down. Flag is down. Yep. This is going to back him up a little bit more. It does two things. It's going to stop the clock, 
and it's going to put Damon Duvall back a little bit further for this punt. Alabama, no timeouts. Williams moves up. Another returnable punt. Good field position now as the Crimson Tide gets it back. A 33 yard punt. Third and 11. Make it 12. Here's Coyle left side. It'll be fourth down at the 36. Johnston makes the tackle. And again, Alabama with no timeouts. They can't stop the clock. So all these pass completions in the middle of the field away from the sideline. Auburn more than happy to oblige. Fourth down. Coyle with pressure. Tipped. Incomplete. Dontarius Thomas with the deflection. They lose the heartbreaker last week to Georgia on fourth and 15. Come into Bryant Denny Stadium, face a team that's gone nine and two, and they do so with all of these wounded players. And walk out of here with a 17 7 victory. I think you'll enjoy his trip a lot more. All those ducks in the flyway over Stuttgart, Arkansas, better pay attention. 